Greetings, church family. As you know, next Wednesday is the beginning of the Lenten season. In our popular culture, Lent has primarily become known as a time for fasting or giving up something. We hear about people from fasting from a particular type of food or from a TV show or many other things for Lent. What has become lost in our culture is that the real purpose of Lent is to take on something. Historically, Lent is primarily about taking on new intensity and focus in our desire to become more like Christ. It has traditionally been a time of reflection and soul searching as we seek to put aside distractions around us and become all that God wants us to be. Fasting, when done right, can certainly help intensify that focus, but it's the means, not the end. So the question I want to challenge you to reflect on as we approach the Lenten season is this, what would help you to become more Christ-like? Or put another way, what might help you to take the next step in your spiritual journey? The answer to that question is very personal and is going to be different for each of us. I would like to suggest one habit, however, for you to consider adding during the Lenten season, which might be helpful. That habit is taking a few minutes each day to pray and reflect on a Lenten devotional. One Lenten devotional booklet that I have found to be very uplifting is called The Road Back to God by Larry Neeb. We have these devotional booklets at the church, and if you call the church office, Paula Essery will be happy to mail one to you. They are also available on Kindle or Nook at the link mentioned in this constant contact email. Now, let me say a word about how to get the most out of these devotionals. Obviously, you can read one of these devotionals in a minute or less and walk away with perhaps a new thought, but you'll really have shortchanged yourself. To make these devotionals truly formative in your life, I suggest that you find a time and place when you can first be quiet, center yourself, and ask God to speak to you through these readings. Then take a Bible or a smartphone and look up the scripture passage at the top of the devotional. Read through the scripture passage and then the devotional with an open mind and heart. Finally, reflect on the application prayer or question at the end. This whole process can be done in less than five minutes, but it has the potential to impact your entire day in such a positive way. My own experience is that pausing for a few minutes each day to open myself to God like this enables me to see God at work more frequently in the rest of my day. For me, it works best to place this practice fairly early in my day, but each of you needs to find a time which works best for you. The bottom line is, we are creatures of habit, and our habits ultimately imprint our life. I can guarantee you that if you practice this time of spiritual reflection for 40 days, it will form you in a positive way spiritually. Finally, a brief word for our parents. The Lenten season is also a good time to establish a daily time of spiritual reflection with your children. David Berg has selected a devotional booklet which can help with this called Practicing Love Family Devotionals for Lent. This can also be viewed in the link in the constant contact email and can be requested by calling the church office. I know that finding a regular time to share this with your children can be a challenge, but again, I believe the benefits will be well worth it. Again, each of these are just suggested opportunities for your Lenten experience. The real key to Lent is to take on a habit which will help you become more Christ-like. I encourage you to be thinking and praying about what that might be in your own life. Thanks for taking the time to listen. Here's to a meaningful Lenten season.